hello guys welcome to my channel so i'm um, looking at the um the other aspect of the question which is collaboration be up to date so um we have the tax so in this tax all we just need to do is to get all changes of the main branch locally so we're going to create a change in our readme file which will be on, on the web portal so we'll now click on um now ox01 dash git click on read me then we'll now click on uh because they say we should edit it so we'll now click on it ideally we're not expected to edit it from here just to edit it from our system then push it but in this case we'll now edit it so now this is the folder so now to edit my readme file so i'm now editing it and yes i'm currently editing it so after editing it you now move down so that you can commit it so you now click on you want to commit the changes so that it will be effective so you now click on commit changes so you now click on commit changes so now we have done uh, what we have done the editing so now they want us to get all changes of the main branch locally so we'll now go back to our github desktop i'll click on our alx pre um course they will now click on fetch origin then we will now go to pull origin so we are now pulling the changes we made on our github web to our own github desktop so we will now go to the second tax create a new file up, up to date So now we'll now go back to our Visual Studio code and we'll now create a new file which is up to date. So we'll now click on it and we'll now type um, new file then we'll now create a new file name which is up to date. So I'll now copy it from here. and um, create right click then i will now go to new file then i will now paste up to date name so now i've now created my new file so they want us to write the git command line used so so write um sign git add up to date they will now write git pool that is sign dollar sign git add up to date then the other one dollar sign git pool so we added it and we now pulled it so we'll now go back to our desktop app now now you cannot see the changes that have occurred the green changes that has occurred you will now click on so now they now say we should write a commit message which is how to be up to date in git so that's what we're now going to now type in our commit message so I've already pasted it. That is how to be up to date in Git. Then we will now commit to main. Then push to main. So I'm now pushing it currently to my GitHub uh, web account. So I've already done it. 
so now i want to go to the web and check it so we'll now refresh our web page now you cannot see that the up to date file is already there i am clicking on it you now see the two codes we wrote so we are done with this aspect so now i want to go back to our question to see if our solution is correct so we'll now click check your code and you can see currently the two check marks are green so we well, have successfully completed this question thank you please kindly subscribe for more videos